Welcome back to Fishing with T-Rex. It's a beautiful 60 degree Easter weekend. The water is heating up and so is the bite. So let's see what I can catch today. Oh, nice bassy. He's barely hooked. He's flipping, he's flopping. Fish three of the day. Fish on. Oh, what the heck? Crappie. Crappie. What the heck is a crappie doing? First crappie of the year right there, folks. Oh, and we're hitting sticks. Oh, gosh. As you can tell, I caught those first few fish using a brightly colored square bill fished over the edge of shallow flats. The bright color is because the water is slightly murky, and I chose a square bill because it's a great bait to cover water, which is especially useful in the spring when the fish are pre-spawn and grouping just outside spawning areas, such as shallow flats. Oh, missed them. Let's see if we can't get them back here. Oh, little baby. He's got so much growing up to do. So much growing up to do. So, despite the bite being good, I had noticed the water was high, so I went to investigate where I found some geese acting awfully suspicious. So, after breaking the beaver dam, it was back to fishing. Oh, nice bass egg. Come here, buddy. Stay out of the weeds. Woo. They still got them cold lips, but they biting. It's number five of the day. Fish on. Oh, he's swimming towards me. Oh, he's swimming away from me. Oh, he is freaking massive. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god, he's big. Oh, don't come out, dude. Just let me get you in the boat. I just literally want a picture. Oh, baby. Holy freaking shit. So despite catching that monster, it was getting pretty windy, so I decided to take a break and find a place with a little west wind before getting back out there and catching a few more fish. So despite mainly sticking with the square bill, I did try a few other techniques, but they weren't nearly as successful and the fish appeared to be grouped in certain areas as I would catch a few in one place, then none for a while. A sure sign they were in pre-spawn groupings and preparing to find beds once the water heated up a little bit more. Crappie three of the day. Woo. All right, so that was the last fish of the day. I apologize for only having one camera angle, but the previous edit was accidentally deleted from YouTube and this was all I could recover. Ooh, come on, Still, Matthew. I hope come you back. enjoyed watching the video as much as I did catching all these fish. Ooh. And that's all for fishing. Fish number 12 of the day, folks. Fish number 12.